Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This is a big video that I want to talk about today with some stuff related to the headliners market and the headliners market, especially concerning tomorrow, Thursday, for Thursday flipping, and also what's going to happen with these cards at rewards. Because I know a lot of you guys want to buy these headliners, so I want to put you in the best position possible. Uh, where you can possibly buy one for a good price if you want to buy one this week If you think that some of them are going to rise up out of the promo Which I think a few of them will but I also think there's a possibility that some of them decrease in price out of the promo especially depending on How their team plays individually so I want to look at some of that stuff as well But we always need to take a look at the Thursday flipping investments as well today is Wednesday on FIFA ultimate team um, And we're probably going to get another SBC. They have been on a on a tear Releasing a new SBC every single day. Today, we got ourselves a left wing Leroy Sané. Just got the dynamic image. 99 pace, which, you know, when you look at the end games, it really shouldn't be 99. Because if you average those two together, it's not 99. But that's the EA way. Still a pretty juiced card. A lot of people are probably going to try to grind to this towards the end of the game. And it's again, I, I saw somebody make a point on Twitter about this. Very interesting that both now are Leroy Sané. Our only two non-expiring player moments SBCs, which are Hazard, Hazard and Sané, neither of them are expiring and they're both left wings. So I find that quite interesting that we have two left wing SBCs all the way out here that are non-expiring. So interesting, right? But still a cool card. Thank you, EA, for putting out players like this. We like this. Thank you. Uh, obviously, Sané has been hurt. He hasn't gotten any special cards this year. So, Man City fans, this is a perfect SBC that you guys can do. This is probably an SBC I'll be crafting later on towards the year, team of the season type time frame. You know, maybe over the course of the couple months, if I can get some untradeables, throw them into an SBC. Um, that these are kind of like the icon SBCs in a way that they they kind of retain a little bit of demand for the high rated gold card market of sorts, just a little bit, but not much. So that's one thing to think about. Uh, with those cards as well. So I want to talk though a little bit about headliners and Thursday flipping. I want to talk about headliners first. I know that's the big, big point of discussion this week is are these cards going to rise or fall at rewards? That's the big time question. So right now it looks like some of them are still, they really haven't moved a ton in the past couple of days. Salah has actually fluctuated a decent amount. He's 1.8 mil right now. He was 165 after their game on the weekend. I'm going to look at the graph and show you guys this. You might be able to see it still on Monday. Yeah, he was 163. He was 169 all day Monday. Yesterday, even, he was 17 low. And right now, today, he's all the way back up at 1.8 million coins. So some of these cards have risen back up a little bit. Neymar's back up to 4.2. He was down to 4 flat. Saul's up a little bit. I think that's partially thanks to Douglas or Diego Costa. Walker is down. Uh, and I think that's because uh, City had their, their win streak reset, I believe, this weekend. Uh, and they played again today, and I think they won. But uh, that did kind of reset his streak. And, of course, we have the Lala SBC that is out there as well. Sansone is down a tiny bit. That's interesting to note. But, you know, most of the, these other cards are just kind of chilling, right? Lewandowski is 800,000 coins. Burns is at 720. Again, the big question is what's going to happen to these cards during weekend league rewards because a lot of people want these cards and they are super duper rare today we got the 50k pack um headliners challenge sbc which i was super duper stoked about i was absolutely so pumped when i saw that sbc because i thought it was going to be tradable then of course i looked and it was untradable which was a big bummer um but um that would have changed this market entirely for the headliner prices and stuff like that so that's why i was hoping that sbc was going to be tradable today Unfortunately, it wasn't, but um, these cards, again, they're going to get packed a lot on Thursday, and that's when a lot of people, I even mentioned this earlier in the week, I said Thursday could be a potential buy day. I'm starting to change my mind on that a little bit. If you want to buy one of these headliner cards, and we're talking, especially if it's one of the more meta cards, if it's on a team, if it's a player that plays for a team that has a lot of success, kind of like this Nelson Semedo card, right? A lot of people want Nelson Semedo, his right back variant, because this is a cool card on FIFA, and it's a position change. He doesn't have any right back special cards, and of course, you need that link to Messi, right? So a lot of people want this Semedo card. A lot of people people want Mertens. They want um, Neymar. They want Varane, stuff like that. 
My thing to you is, if it's a card that you think is going to rise out of the promo because their team is playing well and they're going to easily get their four wins, I would say Salah is in that category. I would say Lewandowski, Neymar. Um, I would even throw Tellez in that category. They have a, a couple tough games, but Porto's killing it. Varane's in that category probably. And Kyle Walker's maybe on the edge of that one. But especially for like a Semedo, uh, for a Varane, some of those guys... You know, the, the the time to buy, since there's going to be so many people that want to buy these cards, I'm honestly targeting a before rewards time to buy these cards because there's so many people that want to buy them. That worries me that they're going to get, um, they're going to fly after rewards because these cards are really not going to get packed that much, especially if they're on the higher end. Yes, people do have weekend league rewards. Yes, there are going to be some packs opened, but it's going to be nothing compared to what it was last Friday when people had saved up packs. People had all kinds of packs saved up, ready to open, and that's when these cards really got a lot of their supply. So on some of the lower tier ones like Sansone, yeah, you might see him get packed at Weekend League Rewards. This is somebody that a lot of people want to invest in because he's one of the cheapest ones, and I get it. I bought one of these guys today. I bought a Sansone at like 28,000 coins, which I think he's kind of still, he's actually still 30K. So um, this is a very popular card, and I think after one boost, he's going to look really good, and a lot of people are going to want to try him. But... Uh, maybe this is a card that drops a little bit more because he gets packed a lot. You know, who do you see when you see people packing these headliner cards when they're opening packs? You see them packing Sansone, Saul, and Gerard Moreno, right? Those are the cards that you see everybody packing. Uh, so those are probably the ones that will stay the same price, in my opinion, on Thursday for awards or will even go down a little bit. But for the rest of the cards that are really popular, that are really meta, that everybody wants to buy and put in their teams, I think we might even want to be, I think we might want to start looking at these cards before Weekend League Rewards comes out. Because if there's any panic selling or whatever content they drop today on Wednesday, if that content affects these cards at all, whether it's a pack supply SBC, where they drop maybe even a 45k pack SBC would do some damage to these cards because that would be some supply coming onto the game that we didn't have before. So watch that. If there's if there is some supply tomorrow at 6 p.m. UK, and you know maybe another SBC comes out that's a really good value SBC and it's doable, but it's also kind of expensive. Maybe you see a little bit of panic selling for those for that SBC, but um, honestly, I would anticipate a little bit of panic selling on some of these cards just because people are thinking they're going to drop at rewards and you might see honestly the best time to buy these cards might be somewhere around the midday like the content drop time tomorrow if we get a pack sbc people will be packing these listing them up on the market so honestly if you're going to make a buy during this promo for these headliner cards like you have to have one in your team you're going to rock it in your team for the rest of the year you want it to be first owner and you you kind of have to have it now and you want to know when is the time to buy this card Again, especially if it's one of those top tier guys that are going to get upgraded really soon, then I would say watch their prices as, as much as you can. Watch their prices tomorrow. Watch where the bids go. See where people are bidding on these cards. Watch where, you know, whatever content comes at six. If there's a pack that comes out, get on the snipes and stuff like that. And maybe you see a little bit of panic selling and some open bids before rewards. I think it also depends on who gets in the team of the week tomorrow. Um, as of right now, I don't see, you know, there's two center mids from La Liga that could be getting in Havertz as well. Maybe somebody, you know, this Canales card looks good. I don't think that would spark any panic selling for Saul. Um, but maybe you see, uh, one of these team of the week cards affect one of the headliners a little bit. I wouldn't expect to do it that much, but, um, that's one thing to think about as well. We have two Spanish midfielders in here with Alberto and Saul that, um, um, Maybe you see a Spanish Team of the Week card impact those prices a little bit. Probably not too much, but that's kind of what I'm thinking with those. Mid-time tomorrow. Watch the prices really, really closely tomorrow because I don't think that a lot of them are going to go down as much as we originally thought on um, Thursday for awards. I really don't think it's going to happen just because they're going to get packed, yes, but they're very rare. These The pack weight is very rare for these cards. And so many people want to buy them. And so many people have been told, wait until Thursday to buy these cards. So I think they actually, now they kept the pack weight right on the same 1.7% out of a 50K. I think that's unchanged. So that's interesting they did that. But um, yeah, if you're watching those cards, watch them closely today. Watch for any type of panic selling that you might see and maybe snatch it if you really want the card. But other than that, Maybe you just keep waiting on those cards, to be honest. Keep waiting on those. If you can wait two or three weeks, there's probably going to be another promo that comes out 
that makes those cards drop. Or maybe like Salah and Liverpool will mess up and lose a game. Not likely. Maybe let's say somebody like uh, like PSG or Manchester City or even Real Madrid work up to like a three-game streak and then lose. I think you would see a pretty solid drop-off in those cards when that would happen. So that's just some of my thoughts on those cards. I also want to talk about Thursday flipping in today's uh, episode, today's video. And we looked at this team of the week prediction already. Um, there's a lot of Bundesliga that I'm seeing around here in these team of the week predictions. Not as much Premier League, more Bundesliga. And I think this guy right here, Holland, if that's how you say his name correct, Holland, I'm not sure how to say his name to be honest, but the new transfer to Borussia Dortmund, he's been absolutely killing it. First game ever for Dortmund. You guys know the story. He gets subbed on, scores a hat trick. Definitely an inform worthy performance. He's going to have an 86 rated inform. All the links to this card are already rising a ton. It's not really good to link invest in these cards anymore because people know who's getting in team of the week. He's definitely getting in and they buy uh, cards to link with those types of players way earlier on in the weekend nowadays. But Adama Traore has a chance to get in this team of the week. I do think it's going to be Raul Jimenez though, unless EA really wants to upgrade that card. And then Everything else in here just looks like a solid team of the week, right? Perisic, that's not as good as his uh, storyline card. Another Havertz center attack in mid in form would be cool. Van Dijk is rumored to get in. That would be cool. Ove Makano would be a nice um, special center back. French from the Bundesliga, that would be cool. Casemiro is probably going to get in as well. So, you know, when we're looking at Thursday flips this week, there aren't a ton of things in here that I really see, and I'm like, boom, I need to get one of these. Uh, for link investments, I need to link invest to one of these. If there's anything, maybe it's Havertz. Maybe people try to incorporate Havertz and Holland into their teams. Um, but I was looking at some stuff today. I was looking at the Sancho card. And boys, I'm going to be honest. If you have already invested in some of these like John and Sancho's or Royce, uh, you're ahead of the game and you're killing it because this guy is up so freaking much from where he was. John and Sancho's inform was right around... It was right around like 45,000 coins on even after the game on Sunday. And I think right now his inform is somewhere like around the range of um, like 50 or 60K. He's like in the 60K range. That's where this card is. 60, 59,000 coins for this card. He was like 40K earlier this week. We're looking at guys like Royce as well. Even Royce's gold card. People are definitely buying into this. This card was 43,000 coins um, this weekend. I think now he's up to almost 50 or even over 50,000 coins. He's over 50,000 coins. Marco Royce's gold card is basically up 10,000 coins from where he was earlier this week because of the link possibilities to that card. So that's one thing I would say be very careful of. Um, you know, maybe you find a guy like, I, I bet this Delaney card is even in, inflated in price. This is like a team of the week one, really long time ago type of card. How much is he going for at the moment? Yeah, he looks to be a little bit inflated, I'm guessing. I haven't looked at this card's price in a while. But he looks to be a little inflated at 44-ish thousand coins. So I would just be very, very careful if you're buying link investments to this week's team of the week. Maybe try to find something that isn't in predictions if you think it's going to get in. But other than that, you know, we have our normal weekly Thursday flipping conversations. Last week, this inform did great for me. Delhi Ali's regular inform card. I bought them at 50,000 coins or below. And I sold them all at a 60K or above. I think he's back up to around 60K-ish. Yeah, he is. Look at that. He's 59, 58,000 coins at the moment. But this is a card that always goes up every week. So if you can get this around mid-50s, you he could, he could very possibly go to, to 50 to 65 uh, this weekend, in, in my opinion. So again, the market is really high. So Thursday flips should do decent uh, because people are interested in the game. With these Thursday or with these new cards that are on the game, people are playing Weekend League. We saw that last weekend. We still have the new user base that's kind of in the game from Team of the Year. So I think a decent amount of people have Weekend League rewards. But again, this market is high. So the best kind of stuff that you're going to want to do for Thursday flipping investments is going to be looking across the market and trying to find stuff that is just low on the daily, um, on the daily like averages, right? So. This card right here would not be one that you want to buy. Like this, this card is up a ton because of Chris Smalling. Uh, and, and for some of those guys that are up because of Chris Smalling as well, like Juan Jesus, his uh, Europa League live card has boomed because of that Chris Smalling SBC. I think he's 95K. This dude was 70,000 coins. After Weekend League last week, he's up 25,000 coins because of that SBC. This is the kind of stuff that if you see a bunch of uh, panic selling on this tomorrow, maybe people are selling their teams before rewards, you could pick up on some of that panic selling. 
But again, it's just going to be kind of one of those weeks where you're going to have to kind of pick and scrape and choose for deals um, from past team of the weeks. So that's where I really, the second half of the year when we do Thursday flipping, basically what I did last year and it worked really well, and I think it's going to work well this year too, is going back through past team of the weeks, looking at cards that are down on the lower end of their, you know, fluctuation or two for the day and look to get in on some of those. Now, I, I saw Furland mending a couple team of the week predictions. He could get another in for him. That would be quite interesting because he's pretty high right now, 80,000 coins. And this stuff continues to rise, to be honest, because people have a lot of coins right now and they're having fun on the game and they're using cards that they want to use to link together. Uh, and they're, they're, they're paying the big bucks. That's really, really obvious. So again, it's really hard to really suggest, hey, you should buy this card for Thursday flipping because I just can't, see a lot of these cards dipping down much at all again watch out for panic selling with this week's team of the week like let's say we do get a furland mendy in team of the week where was he at let's say we get a new not a furland mendy let's say we get a new benjamin mendy 85 rated in form in this week's team of the week this one would definitely be, be be panic sold and that would be an opportunity to pick up the sell-off and the panic you know that new furland mendy in form would probably be somewhere around like I would say 200k first day, even a little bit higher than that. Another French left back in form, but it's Prem. So I'd be careful with that. And if you see this card get panic sold because of that, that could be a possible investment for tomorrow. And then again, maybe somebody else from in here, maybe like um, maybe Havertz's first in form takes a hit. But of course, that's a that's a soft link to Holland. If people want to use him in their teams, um, I'm trying to look at some other examples in here that you could see panic selling on because of one of these in forms. Uh, Casemiro could be, you know, there's, there's a lot of Real Madrid fans out there in this world. So maybe you see a few of the Real Madrid links, you know, up to him, like a Hamas Rodriguez stream card. Maybe you see this rise a little bit. I don't know where this card is at. I used to trade with this card a decent amount. How much is Hamas Rodriguez's scream? Oh gosh, he's down a decent a bit. So maybe, the, maybe a card like this, uh, you could possibly still get some pickups into 222,000 coins for Hamas at the moment. That would be a link investment to a Casemiro because they play definitely different positions. But maybe some people would want to use that this weekend, try him out, have some fun. So there's link investments that you could find out there. Just be careful. When the team of the week gets released today, look and see what's in it. Look on the market, see if there's any quick link investments that you can make. And then, of course, after that, see what happens at 6 p.m. UK. And a lot, to be honest, I buy a lot of my Thursday flips around that 6 p.m. UK time frame. Because that is when the most people on the market are this year. That's when the market is the, the most, you know, active and busy. But that's also what I've started to notice. One of the best times of the day when cards are their lowest. You know, we used to say cards were lowest in the nighttime. The open bids were great. Yes, open bids are still great on Wednesday nights before rewards. But uh, there's still plenty of deals to be had because a lot of cards just pe people just like panic sell and they list cards in the middle of the day. Uh, so. You could pick up some deals around the more middle of the daytime uh, UK if that is something that works for you. I'm always a fan of Sterling on Thursdays, 120K. Let me have that. Thank you. I will take that and chuck it on the transfer list for Thursday flipping right there. That could be a nice one. Um, you know, a lot of people might have that record breaker Aguero coming out of this week's team of the week. You know, people like to use city cards. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, that could be, I just bought my first Thursday flip right there, boys. You know, you can look for deals like that, quick undercuts like that that you could easily flip in the moment for profit. Just hold those until after Thursday. And again, whatever happens today on the game, whatever SBCs we get will have an impact on Thursday rewards as well. But I hopefully this video helped you guys kind of talk about and think through what you want to do with headliners. Now, that was the main point of this because I think a lot of people are looking to buy these headliner cards on Thursday after rewards because they think they're going to drop. My advice to you would be, if you can wait on one of these and wait until after the promo to buy it, I would say please do that um, because I don't think all of these cards are gonna hold their value, especially after they get that um, team upgrade, especially after they get that four in a row consecutive wins upgrade. I do think we'll see a lot of these drop down to a more sensible level. Uh, and of course, depending on what other promos come after this, makes a difference on uh, what kind of prices we see for some of these cards as well. One other point I want to make, if you're a pro player, if you're somebody who is playing qualifiers this weekend, a lot of these icons, like this Vieira card was 115 on Sunday night. He's now almost 
I know that's a card that's going to be used by a ton of professionals this weekend playing in the qualifiers. So watch for some of your low rated, but also meta icons, right? So I'm talking baby Vieira, uh, maybe even like a baby Butragueno. Some, some guys might use that, but baby Vieira, baby Hullet, those guys take might take a little bit of an extra spike this weekend with some people going out and buying some of those teams for the qualifiers. And of course, uh, these, these players, they go all out for qualifiers, man, because these events that they play in, um, are the only way that they can get qualified for the global series. So this Hullet card, wow. I saw him at a million coins flat a couple days ago. He's now, at least right now, he's at 1 mil 72K. I could easily see this at 115 later this weekend um, as just, just a card that's going to be inflated because he's going to get into a lot of people's teams, especially with the rating restriction that is placed on these cards during their qualifiers. So watch for that as well. It's one of my last quick notes, but have a good rewards Thursday. Good luck. Hopefully you pack a headliner. And I'll probably be, I don't have weekend league rewards because I barely play the game, but I will have probably some 81 plus packs. And just in case Adama does get upgraded, I'm probably going to end up finishing him tonight. As I'm recording this, um, I'm going to end up crafting some of these 81 pluses and seeing if I can get myself Adama Traore finished through crafting these and maybe pack a head, my own headliner as well and tradable. That would be the plan. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, smash the thumbs up button, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.